Annie Stevenson for Severe MMA, and I'm here at the Canal Court Hotel in Uri with a victorious Sen and Coakley. You lost your last three. You're after getting an emphatic second round TKO there, and the crowd went wild. How does that feel? Unbelievable. Oh, I, uh, I was emotional, but it was good. I needed it. Three losses on the bounce. I was saying to you there, like, it's a. Uh, It'd make anyone quit. It would make anyone stop the sport. Three, three losses on the bounce, especially after five wins on the bounce and then three losses. But I knew I needed to get in the right headspace, and that's what I'd done. And I got in the right headspace, got to the boy, Munir, Ozzy, John Mitchell, all welcomed me, and my game went from there to there. And now, now I'm back in Dublin, perfecting my craft still. I'll go back out there and I'll train in both gyms. No problem, like, you know what I mean? Um, Roy now then, and obviously Bill McCann and Conor McCann and Paul Reds are like, coaching me wrestling here and then when I go to Dubai I have Ozzy who coached Kamza at one stage coaches John you know he's a really high level coach like I've had high level coaches putting time into me so it has to show it needed to show and it showed there I think the last time I spoke to you in an interview was after the Tristan Barnett fight and I, you know at that time I think it was December 2022 you had kind of really just broken on to the amateur scene and you were flying it mm. but then I remember you know it was while you were going through the period of losses I, I might be in Team Rhino interviewing one of the last young cage warriors and you looked a little bit just, I don't know, you weren't as kind of boisterous or you didn't have the same kind of energy about you. Was it, yeah. you said it was a tough time going through the losses. Did it, did it mess with you mentally? Big time, big time. Mess, mess with me mentally a lot. I knew the sport was for me. I was never going to stop the sport. But mentally I was like, am I as good as I think? You know what I mean? Am I high level? Do I need to maybe not, maybe take a year out and train? But then I was like, you know what? I'm only letting other people think, like, get into my head. So, like, I'm in my head, I'm like, oh, he's three lost on the bounce, he's done. That's what other people think. I'm in my own head. I know what's in my head, and I know I'm the best. I know I can stand with anyone. Like, right now, you put me in there with anyone. I'll stand with them. Me grappling, 100, I'll admit, me grappling isn't there. Me grappling, like, uh, with the world's best, I wouldn't get near them. But if you stand me in a cage or someone across the cage and you give me that start at the feet, I can do that, and I can work with Anton and uh, shout there. Collie Matten puts hours into me. Hours. The man is the most committed coach I've ever seen in my life. He's never out of gym. And all he does is put hours into me. And you heard them there. He called the body shot. The minute I heard his voice, boom, body shot. And I stopped him. So I think I heard Collie's voice. I heard Craig's and Andy's voice so well. If you look at any of my fights, listen to what they're saying. And look how quick I hit it. So any advice for anyone that's doing MMA, listen to your coach and get familiar with his voice. So then when you're in there and he says something, you do it straight away. You mentioned outside voices there. Were there, were there people kind of... Questioning, you know, should this be the sport for you or anything like that? Yeah, like a few, like you know what I mean. Like, like, is it the sport for you? Like, I like not not coming up to me and saying is this, but like, are you still doing that MMA? Like, I, I seen your last fight, you know. Like, I can, I know, I know, boy, people's vibes that doubt me, but that's other people. I don't care. My girlfriend, my family, is all that matters. Genuinely, all that matters, and they're the ones that push me every single day when I was at my lowest. Come in, lost and crying on my man's shoulders, crying on bleeding. Craig's shoulders, crying on my girlfriend's shoulders, being like, I don't know what I've done, Jeremy, I need to go work on it. I showed there, but I'm not stopping this year. I said to you last year, any super, uh, super, super lightweight welterweight can carry, any welterweight can carry, genuinely. Uh, welterweight, the day before, text me, I'll get going, I'll fight anywhere. I want a busy year, I want to fight six times this year and then pro next year, if Andy allows it and if they discuss it and say it's good, but I'm, I'm ready to go, I want to fight anywhere, anytime. I know you're saying, you know, your, your grappling isn't the finished product there. Do you think you almost have to go through experiences like the fights against Brian Mann and against um, Jess Paolo? Mm. Guys who, you know, are, are very kind of grappling heavy fighters with, who will use the pressure. Obviously, those were, were really hard fought fights and, and grueling ones. Did you feel that those will stand to you in time? Yeah, yeah, big time. I learned a lot from them fights. I learned a lot. I learned for the Brian Mann fight to never fight a middleweight again. That, that fella was double the size of me in there. The minute he got a hold of me, I was just like, oh. I was just literally, <laughs> in my head I went, oh my God, how am I going to turn this fella? Like, you know what I mean? Uh, like this moment yeah, I yeah. Up. One of them, like, <laughs> but the minute I got space now, no, no, the minute I got space, I was like, oh, I can crack him. But then the minute he got a hold of me, I was like, oh, bollocks. So never fight a welterweight again. Another one is just, Believe in me striking and believe in me grappling. Me grappling isn't the finished product, but it's certainly better than a lot out there and people would be surprised. I showed it a bit out there with me sweeps. I got one, got two takedowns, I think, as well, but just actually taking someone down and holding them down is something I need to work on. But I, I think, I think what sells fights is exciting fighters. You can talk if you want, but what sells fights is exciting fighters and I'm an exciting fighter because I'll stand on the feet and I'll knock anyone out and I'll try and knock anyone out. But I feel like sometimes grappling isn't as 
good to watch if it's not high level. If it's high level, I love watching grappling. High level wrestling and stuff is really, really good to watch. But low level grappling isn't great, but I will strike high level all day. And I think everyone wants to watch that. Your brother, for anyone who doesn't know, maybe doesn't follow outside of MMA, is a trailblazer in the Muay Thai scene in Ireland. Mm. Um, obviously, he's, he's gone through his own, I guess, struggle with coming off a loss out at one. For both, you know, you're going through a three loss uh, streak. He's coming off that. Did you lean on each other? Like, is, is, it, is it helpful to have a brother who's going through this struggle together? Like, me and Craig are, Craig's my best friend. Like, Craig's my best mate. And that's not just saying that because oh, he's my brother, he's my best friend. Like, I oh, can literally tell Craig anything at all. And Craig will give me advice. And Craig can come to me for advice. And we do it all the time. And when he lost, like, because I'm looking in from the outside, when he lost straight away, I knew what, why he lost. I knew like, what was going on and how uh, the situation. And he was like, yeah, you're right. When I lost straight away, he knew, boom, you weren't fucking training for, sorry for me, Corson. Like for one of the fights, for one of the fights, I won't say which one, you weren't training, you slacked for a few weeks. Another one, I had more problems in that fight camp than that and still got through it. And these aren't excuses, by the way. I was out leveled on the night, so it doesn't matter. Then obviously the Brian Manum when I took a fight, I weighed up and thought I was going to beat anyone. Obviously that didn't work out. But like he knew straight away what went wrong and how we're going to fix it. And like that, he's the one as well. He's like, it's other people that are doubting you because you've lost three times. Are you doubting yourself? Do you think you can stand on anyone? And then your head like, yeah, I can't stand on anyone. So he's like, well, then you can. Let's fucking go. Let's get back to the gym. Let's train. And like that, we do our S&C together. We do our sprints together. We obviously train Muay Thai together. If we're both there at camp, I'll take him down now and again, just show him who's the bigger brother, but not the bigger brother at the same time. Grapple him a bit, but yeah. That's he's still the king of Cabra. Yeah, he's always the king. He, no, he's the king of D1. I'm the king of Cabra. That's not what I yeah, but um, no, me and Craig do are really our best mates, and we've come to, we come to each other for our aunt, but he did help me through the three losses. Him the most. Then obviously, like I said, me man, and dad, they're obviously going to be there for you. And then obviously her girlfriend as well, do you know what I mean? So, um, they're all they're all there for me and they're all good people to have around me so I love, I love the balance of all of them well look we're still early doors in 2024 obviously just coming into March now mm. what can we expect from the Coakley brothers going forward in the year Craig's on back up on one uh, in April I won't say when or he'll, he'll announce all that he's back up on one so he's going to get out there I'm going to look to get out for one of his fights and then go to Bank Tow then after trying out there um, but yeah he, he's on one next me I think I'm matched in May. I'm trying to get matched in the end of March. I'm trying to get matched on in every show. I don't care. I mean, anyone who wants it can get it. Like, that's not even in a cocky way. I'm just saying, I just want fights. If anyone wants to fight, let's go. Well, look, Sam, appreciate the time. Good to see you back in the wing, Colin, and, and, and appreciate it. Much, All the best. Yeah.